Yo, what's going on, guys? Red Cane is currently a top 10 jungler. Blue Cane's kind of, eh, it's not quite up there. It's more of a top 15. For your best build possible at a 63.9% win rate, you want to go for Eclipse into Opportunity. Opportunity is taking over the Lethality meta. It's super inexpensive, plus you get movement speed off of it, which is nuts. When you haven't been in combat with a champion within the last 8 seconds, which is pretty much all the time as a jungler, you also get more Lethality, so... It really is made for jungling, uh, for ganking and whatnot with the movement speed. So it is going to be Eclipse, Opportunity, into Surlds. Then we can flex more into health options. Now against their team, we might honestly have to adjust this build. I don't think we'll need Surlds because they're not going to stack armor too much. Kane has infinite jungler routes. He can solo start anyone's Raptors or Wolves. doesn't matter who they belong to. He can do it very easily. People are wising up they'll keep watch lay wards they'll block you off so the current meta is kind of just start on your own raptors it tends to play best people don't necessarily expect it and it's hard for them to counter it because you can do it so quickly and healthy right so that's yeah that's what we're doing here kane's level two isn't really much faster than his level one clear because he does zero damage it's just a heal and a speed up so his level one clear is extremely fast his level two not so much his level three not so much but level one very much so we're gonna hold on to smite i want to get his grunt for level three ultimately verticaling is still tends to be the way to go just because kane does it so efficiently but um yeah you just have to be smart about it We'll leave that there because we'll probably kill him on that. We'll take this over. We'll have smite charges. He's most likely not in my jungle. He's most likely just full clearing. So he'll be finishing up his raptors right around now. So we have time to kind of mess around. Keeping watch. Oh, okay, I see. I got him with pretty much nothing there. He knocked me away. But we do have the ward on Viego's blue. So we can still interact there. If he doesn't show on it within the next like 15 seconds. We know he's in my jungle. Okay, cool. Here he is. He shouldn't necessarily expect me to be here. He's going to be looking around. Uh, I'm not seeing him yet. It's making me a little nervous. Might need to go mid. Might need to go mid real quick. I do have flash, so. Flash W. Walk him down for the auto into Q. That is really, really big. He didn't even... That's weird. He didn't even go for his blue yet. That That's really, really smart of him. Because I would have stolen it. But uh, I don't think he... <laughs> He chose not to go for it for the wrong reasons, is what I'll say. He should have gone for it. I don't know. He's an he's an odd guy. We'll say that much. I'll take his Krugs. Bali doesn't look particularly gankable. I have two Smite Chargers. Maybe I should have just gone for blue. These are up in... About 10 seconds, we can take these, go for his wraps. He'll be dicking around here, reset, come back to full clear and all. Likely have taken these by then. Ganking this bot lane isn't easy. They're not performing. Draven's low. I don't think I can really do anything there. Draven should not be losing lane early to really anybody. I, mean, I, I just don't like it. I do not like this. Yeah, what do you, what do you know? A huge waste of my time. Yeah. Well, Draven at least trades one for one. As long as Morg doesn't die, we're chilling. We just need to run. He spent gold. One for one's not bad since Draven got adoration stacks or whatever, but considering I spent time... Get him with an auto Q. Oh, this is bad. I had to Q away from that stun. 
I'm on a potion here. Nice. I just need to reset spend gold. I'll try to push this lead as far as I can. She lands Q. She must have put her E on cooldown. First item back as much of Eclipse as we can afford. Alright, cool. The scuttle is coming up, so I'll go ahead and just path bot side. We'll hit the blue and get scuttle. I have, <laughs> I have double smite charges. It feels so bad. Getting kills on Kane is somewhat important early on. If you're just AFK full clearing, it's, like, it's a very easy way to fall behind. That's why his best routes involve putting yourself behind the enemy laners for good ganks and also stealing the enemy jungler's jungle simultaneously. Kane isn't necessarily strong enough to solo the enemy jungler just toad head to head. But if they've used all their abilities on a camp and you're waiting, then that's different. Kane's more of a clear champion and also a gank champion if you can come up from behind. Wow, Scuttle actually exited Bush on the other side. That's outrageous. No clue where this Viego is. <clears throat> he could be anywhere. Like right here. Yeah, I had to leave. Uh, we need vision here. Viego's bot side. He might start solo drag. He'll take it slow, but we need vision on drag. I can take grubs. He can bl take the bl blast cone to the back of the pit, and then we wouldn't even know. I haven't even taken my red yet. How funny is that? Bro, why, Diana? You're just dead. We got him with the W. Auto Q. Wow, I'm getting my lunch eaten right now. Wow, what a close fight this was. I got the heal, bitch. Yeah, Diana gigabated me. She also went grass like an absolute goofball. I'm on blue cane, which sucks. I can still get some red essence for red cane. Blue cane actually wouldn't be bad here. As much as I dislike it. I think my team's already kind of high damage. I don't know if we need blue cane. We might just need a tankier red cane. Okay, I got six. He's probably taking my red. Auto QW. Uh, that was bad. I took so much damage from that. Well, at least my teammates got Ezreal. They got the grubs. We need to get dragged. Uh, I couldn't figure out which Nico was the real one. I didn't want to R the clone. I knew she was going to snare. I just... Couldn't figure out which one was real. Heavy hallucinating. It's easier to figure out which Jaco is the real one because the fake one takes double damage or 50% damage, bonus damage or whatever. So whichever one's taking way too much damage, you already know is the clone. So if I throw out like a W or a Q, we can instantly see the difference. Whichever one takes less damage is the real one. Ooh. Time for me to back. I'm on Eclipse. I do have R. Vigar is not a full item. I can't believe Diana actually went grasp. Like, that's so troll. I just don't get the grasp. <sighs> Maybe it's just because our team's already so high damage. She figures we don't need more damage. But grasp on Diana is just eh. Viego definitely took my red buff is what I'm thinking. Uh, there's someone right here. I don't know which one's the real one. I have to leave this area. They scouted me out with the fake one for some reason. I don't even know why they did that. Time for me to back. I have Eclipse. I'm not going to fight Jace. He's way more gold spent than I am here. Yeah. 
I still don't have Red Kane. They have pretty much all ranged characters. It's the only one who isn't is Viego, so it's delaying my red form. Draxel's the win con. Neither team is necessarily built for split pushing. It's all team fighting. They have a bunch of people right here. They got a gazillion people. Illegally crossing into my jungle. Oh. Maybe he never took my red. Maybe he's scared. Wow, he never did. That was a huge mistake. He's going to fall really far behind off that. I'll invade him. I have an item advantage. Oh, my power just went out. That's not good. I'm on backup power now. Luckily, my internet's also on backup power. This might, video might be over quick. I lost power earlier today, which was kind of weird because it wasn't even really storming. That sucks. Hopefully it comes back. Got him with Smite. Got him with Q. Auto R. Well, it was gonna R. I don't want to deal with the Vagar. Well, I have ranked form at least. Alright, I need to get in this wall. Get with a Q. A W, a smite, an R. We pop out. Cool. Hopefully they just FF15. Hopefully our power lasts for that long. It drains super fast though, the power supply. It's already like halfway out of power on my end. My computer is a giant energy hog. I got double monitors on. It's a super... Um... High refresh rate too, relatively speaking. Dang, the power's just out, huh? I wonder if it was like planned. It's not even storming right now. Earlier today it went out randomly for it was in the middle of the day. It randomly went out for about six seconds. Then it came back. Hopefully this comes back to where our teammates don't get screwed over. Oh yeah, that wasn't really any faster. Might have actually been slower. Auto Q. Yeah, maybe maybe if we secure dragon fight, our power lasts for the next couple of minutes. I am on an item advantage. I need to push in. See what I can do. I went in with the Q immediately to try to just pick him off where he could kill her. Put pressure on, and then we go for a W after we hit a Q and an auto. Auto Q. Is this the real one? Right, it actually is. That's insane. Wait, they did something mid. That's their Viego. Got a mid kill. Yikes. Oh, we need to get this Herald if we're going to end early. Uh, we'll let Morg take it because my power is going to go out. My power definitely is going to go out first. No, I need I someone I someone needs to use it properly. That was a silly thing to type. Hmm, this is a bad fight for us. That was a really really bad fight. Gosh, that went terrible. I really died super fast there. They just in my jungle. What the heck? Yeah, Javen's. Oh, he actually had it. 
Thank you, Vigar. Gone with a W. I gotta be careful with that. I don't know where Viego is. I'll pull this out. Oh, there's Ezreal. What a nasty character. Just hip scotching around. Ah, oh, kind of like Kane, I guess. The power's still out. It's been a while. I probably just full clear into Harold, but I don't know. I just need to get the Harold and get this get this game cooking. We got opportunity. We need to group on Harold. I'll just grab it. We need the right. It's more most important for the right person to get it than just someone grabbing it for the sake of grabbing it. Uh, I'm not even gonna go for red. I'm just gonna go straight for it. If I were to get level 11 here off of a camp, I would take the time. But since I'm not gonna get level 11, there's really no point. Auto Q auto. Holy crap, I'm getting pinned. Harold's thicker than a biscuit. I can't get behind it. Alright, I'll take it. We just need to wrap up. We need to find a big pick over here. If we can find a big pick and. Ooh, Draven. They're on Diego. Okay, they got him. Cool. Ooh, that's huge. Okay, we lay Harold here. Don't get inside of it. Just let it ride in. Okay, power's back. Cool. GG's. Well played. The enemies have no idea. Oh, and then they quit. We'll take it. Luckily, they surrendered because my backup power supply was about to run out. You want to go Eclipse Rush, you get the most AD possible per the price. You also get Ability Haste, which is nice, so there's really no sacrifice in terms of cooldowns in the early and mid game. Second item rush is Opportunity, loads of AD, Lethality, get movement speed for some reason. And when you haven't interacted with champions recently, you get even more Lethality, which is perfect for junglers. And then third item is Surlds. Their team is probably tanky enough to make it work. If their team isn't tanky, just go for Sterix or Spear Shojin instead. And then you can always round off the build with Black Cleaver, Spear, Death Stance, stuff like that. We're going to solo start on our Raptors. Kane Rap solo start is extremely safe. I'm interested to see where Volibear... If I was Volibear, where would I start? I'd probably start on my blue buff. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We could just run, like, do a really weird rap and run rap rap into his red. Actually wouldn't be bad. Looks like TF's taking super early pry out. Yeah, he looks like he probably started on his blue. That means I don't necessarily... Yeah, that is actually pretty tricky on my pathing because Volibear clears so fast and healthy and he's a very strong soloist. I don't necessarily want to invade him with all the uh, given information. I'm not going to smite just because my Q is up. My E's on cooldown as well, so getting over to Krugs would be kind of hard there. I actually wouldn't mind resetting, just picking up Longsword. Certainly not a bad option. I don't think there's a gank topside. Warmog has got nerfed fairly hard. To where I'm interested to see how Mundo's going to scale. Where Mog's got more expensive and less movement speed. Got Longsword, got Oracles. So yeah, Volibear did exactly what I thought. He three camped off blue. He went mid. Hopefully my pings help her react in time. Yeah, he was looking for that E. I noticed I didn't ping her. I pinged the Volibear. We might actually be able to kill him on his red now. I was just going to do blue Gromp fight for Scuttle or blue Gromp gank bot side. We'll hit this pit from the back side. I'll head over to the red. He's probably on wraps or he went straight red. But if he's on wraps, he'll go from this way. Alright, we got time. We'll get him with the W. Auto cute. 
Oh, he actually got it. That sucks. All right, we got quite a bit off of him, though. I'm not too chapped about that. Auto W. I really is in a weird spot, or TF's in a weird spot. Got him with auto Q reset. Red buffs on his head. She didn't quite connect with that after Q away. Throw out a W. The rest of the team didn't really follow up too well off that. Their Syndra, I should say. That's a big wave mid. Looks like I really is going to be live to TP. I could probably grab double scuttle. The good news is, is we got a lot of essence off of it. We put pressure on Volley, got his flash. That's the upside, essentially. I have to cross over, though. We can pick up Scuttle, maybe do something top, or just full clear back down towards bot side. We're already halfway towards uh, Red Cane right now. Which is kind of sick. Windows doing it. Pretty good job top not dying. Smolder's not easy to play against. The, uh, Smolder took fleet. Playing against ranged characters is melee's tricky endeavor. I should be dead from that. I'll take Wolves Blue Gromp. We're chilling. Auto Q. Nice. Brand's gonna be back bot side. Jin hasn't backed yet. Looks like Syndra has TP. <laughs> so weird to have double mage bot. Very strange. Looks like Voidbird's bot side. He has Lucids though. It's a lot of gold spent. Jin hasn't back, so we might actually be able to make this work as long as Volley doesn't land everything. She's warding this. Oh, she flashed. Dang it. Alright. She should be about 1030. She doesn't have boots. I think Volley Bear's still in one of the bushes. I'd stay away from those. How much of a clips can we get? We get call fields, this. Looks like grubs are coming up. If you haven't been able to do anything yet in the game, really try to watch out for grub spawn. You can take those pretty quick on Kane. Dragons, Kane isn't crazy fast. At. His grubs are definitely a little above average. Smolder shoved up. Tear, longsword. We're also at the back of the pit, so we can escape easier. It's harder for them to collapse on us. As long as I have my E to get over the wall, we're, f we're free. I'm going to hold on to my E because of that reason. Even if they had Scuttle taken, it can't see inside of the pit this deep. It can't really see past the entrance part. If Voyager's bot side, he does have tier 2s. So he's going to be very fast. Auto Q. I'll take Scuttle and grab his blue. My Mundo's very, very low. He's looking for fruits. Mundo's extremely item reliant. He's forced to kind of play from behind in lane phase. Yeah, they get drag. Drag for grubs is a good trade for them as long as I don't get another grub. If I can get a fourth grub. Then we get Void Mites, so we just need one more grub from when they spawn in, which is like 10 minute mark, basically, 1040. We hit level 6, 7 minute 30. We're not making bad timing. We've had some interactions and got grubs, so I'm happy with that. I really is going to get chunked. Oh, she actually did... Did it. The champ's nuts. Smolder, a little bit of a panic flash there. One for one out of our mid laner. I don't really feel like I need the back necessarily. Might actually just be able to go mid. I really know TP. She won't scare him away. Is he going to stay for plate? Nice.
He's gonna have to suicide. Got him with the ignite. Let's go. Looks like I really was able to pinch him off anyways. That's hilarious. Q forward, hit him with the ignite range. They have barely any melee. I have to go fight Bully Bear to try to get my red form. Otherwise, we're going to get stalled out in blue for a minute. we we'll us see where he's at. He's all movement speed right now. I wasn't really looking to back until Eclipse. Because I'm playing for free boots somewhat anyways. Bro, I really damn just so balanced. Yeah, I can't really get to this guy. Just trying to finish pushing the wave. I don't want him roaming. Volibear is crazy fast. This is actually really dangerous for me to be here. I need to get away from where Volley's going to be. Oh, nice little juke on his part. Auto Q. Not much damage behind that. My mid laner is winning. I should be safe to stay. Safe to stay and kind of farm it up a bit. Volibear's down CS. Grub's up in 50. Yeah, I'll definitely just back. Once I can afford Eclipse. It's going to be the win con somewhat. <laughs> nothing to gank mid. Nothing to really gank top. Bot lane, honestly not a whole lot either. Auto Q. Go for W max second. Always E max last. It's a little unusual to see that early of a wing moon play out of Oli Bear. You don't really need it because it's Q speed up against enemy champs and tier two boot rush. It's a bit frivolous, I think. <laughs> I think I can easily solo him. It's my eye advantage. If I can't, there's something extremely wrong going on hey volley I actually messed up my smite ah uh, he's got he's, he's moving there we go lots of red essence I messed up my smite <laughs> smite it just like kind of a random grub nice red form He's trying to stop us from getting the fourth one. We're still we're gonna be able to get it. Him taking one to where we get five grubs total instead of six makes really no change. Four is all you need. Like the difference between four and six grubs is practically none. I'm gonna reset for drag fight. I'll be on item advantage and I'll have my second form. It'll make a big difference. In terms of boots, I actually wouldn't mind Lucid's or Mercs. Lucid's feel a bit greedy just because they have the TF stun, Bully Bear stun, then Jin snare, Soraka snare, silence. At the same time, if I use my R correctly, I can outplay TF stun card midair, Jin snare midair. The hardest one out plays the Soraki because it's perpetual. This doesn't even give me level 9. This is kind of a low priority to even take this. So we're not getting a level up off of it. Drag gives me level 9. Oh, they're coming for it. We gotta fight him here when he goes for the plant. Got with the Q. Got with the W. Voibear is on his way, so we need to wrap this guy up. Nice. Auto Q. Auto W. That is so big. Insane. Where was Jin there? He just disappeared. 
Because he was super far away when he threw that out. Oh, I missed it. Oh, well. They shouldn't have Smite anyways. Fully's dead. We try to pressure as much as possible before throwing out W because everyone's looking to juke it. So if we pressure their health bar with our autos and Q first, it makes landing the W a lot easier. I had to go in deeper. All right, cool. We heal. Nice, 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 nice. I was going to die because he hit the root, so I had to dodge turret shot with R and then heal off of him. Nice, nice, nice. We're power spiked big time right now. We're healing 25% of physical damage dealt against champions. That's our every ability plus our autos. A lot of healing. We also have the Eclipse Shield. Very spammable. Boop. They just got Harold. They also know I'm here. They popped vision on me. Can probably get TF here. It's coming behind. We'll smite him for the slow. The W kind of juked right into it. Nice. I really did so much damage. I don't have R up quite yet, so this is a little risky. I need to back for my next item soon. It's only 2,700 gold. Need a little bit more. Old Bear still not a full item. Just tier twos and partials. You can take him. Syndra wants red buff. That's funny. TF burns R, so they know I'm here. I really died. In. That's rough. TF's kind of tanky. I run a Vegas build. Mmm, missed. Kind of just want to reset for opportunity. do a little bit of damage I know I can't really stop these guys too well got it auto Q R inside he's ignited get with the Q auto W nice yeah Volibear completely abandoned him I probably could have killed them both just because I would have been healing off of them yeah, she really wants those minions since our Q and W do AoE damage, and then we could also use our going inside of them with R's and outplay against the TF stun or Holy Bear about to stun me. Nice, the double. She's full fury, she might be able to turn it. Oh, that champ that character's so broken. Giga busted, got a nerf I really. It's probably the the Bork change that did it. She applies the on hit with some of her stuff. I think it's her dash. Dash applies it. She, she can spam that. Now we got opportunity. We'll go for Surlds. Cool. Voibra went Thornmail, dude. His build is poop. Thornmail is, a, in my opinion, the worst tank item in the game. The stats, 350 health is a joke. Any bruiser item gives as much or more than that. Or almost as much. I'm so freaking weak. They have to hit you to even apply heal cut against them. Got the W, Q. I got the Rocka Baka. Ah, uh, not so fast. <laughs> She's about to escape. Got him with the Q. Ah, uh, not like this. Getting hit by random nonsense. Just 
Drag up 17. Farm as much as we can until then. Ooh, don't mind if I do. We basically ended up out farming fully bear. And then when we were on an item power spike, we pressured that hard into to soloing him. Auto cute. Nice. They're doing just weird stuff over here. Looks like it's kind of working though. <laughs> wow. She's actually just killing their whole team. Well, it's a shutdown. So I really basically kills their whole team underneath turret. Boop. Oh my gosh, I gotta go heal. Got a Gromp over here. Kinda just waiting for Drax to be honest. On a big advantage, gold spent advantage over the enemies and an XP advantage as long as I don't die. I can show up to Drax and win the fight for free. Oh, that's scary. That's too much. Run! Yeah, I can't save him. Nice, he got away. Cool. What do we have here? We don't have Swirls yet. I'm not going to bother to back since I already have gold spent advantage if you're down on gold spent it's okay to back when you can find a good time to do so since I have more gold spent than most of them there's no point to back when I could just farm what's left over here Hey, Volley Bear. Well, this is not great. I'll just hit him with the Ignite. I realize he's getting focused. Get him with a W. Cool. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I couldn't hit it. I gotta leave. Oh, never mind. We got the kills. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I really is too fed, man. Dragging up in two. We're already getting mid in hib. I don't think we had time to get bond hib even if I helped with it. I don't mind taking their camps in this instance. Volibear is losing so much CS. So much. He's basically not getting enough farm. <clears throat> we have nearly double his CS right now. I should have pulled it over and then I could have smite. Smite does AoE damage against monsters when it's finished like how we have it right now. I really it stays and dies. We don't really need to force an end. It's actually very hard to force an end when they have that much CC and they're playing underneath turrets. Just gotta light the fire and cook them. They gotta move eventually or they'll just get cooked and burnt. <laughs> Volibear is going for the, the minions, nice. It drags up in 40. I'll reset for that. I have a big purchase. 
Level 3 R <coughs> plus Surald's gonna be big. Typically, you'd go Sterix next. Yeah, let's just go Sterix. It's really annoying how they don't let you go Black Cleaver if you go Surald's. I really hate that. The item is super useful with the haste and health. Plus the movement speed. It don't want you stacking up that much armor penetration. Aw, oh, poor guy. <laughs> he can't even move. He didn't go for Merc Treads. He has Lucids. Boop. Oh, she tried to steal it. Fiend! She's three full items on three full. Mine are a little cheaper, though. Go for turret. They don't have the tools to really stop us. I'm surprised they don't FF. Auto W. Again with the QR. We'll pop out. Got an ignite on Smolder's head, but Smolder's getting killed by Raka. Dang. Oh no! Smolder hurts. Hit the base! That's game. GG's well played. Oof. Oof, that was close. Got the Eclipse Shield and a little bit of healing off of him. Thank goodness TF has low damage. Yes! Alright, that's it. If you guys enjoyed this cane video, let me know what character you want to see next, and I'll catch you guys next time.